This will be a quick demonstration to illustrate how to check and replace the fuses in a digital multimeter. Hi, I'm John from 1929FordHotRod.com. Most digital multimeters have the current inputs fused. These are always clearly labeled. Sometimes they give you the fuse rating. Sometimes they just show the symbols of the jacks that are fused. If you find that you're unable to make a current measurement while having the digital multimeter set to a current function, 9 chances out of 10, the fuse in the digital multimeter for that jack has been blown. This particular meter is fused on the 10 amp function and also for the temperature milliamp function and inductance function. So these two jacks are fused and you can see that by these bottom symbols here they show that they're fused on the uh, jack here to the common. To replace or check the fuses you'll need a slotted screwdriver. We'll turn the meter around and in the back We'll remove the two screws. Carefully remove the back panel and do not lose the screws. Here you'll see there are two fuses here. One here and one here. Now I can very carefully remove the fuses using this slotted screwdriver. like this. And if we take a look inside, it tells us what the fuse sizes are. So this little fuse is a half amp fuse rated at 250 volts. The bigger fuse is a 10 amp fuse rated at 250 volts. To prevent possible personal injury and damage to the digital multimeter, only replace the fuses with the same physical size and ratings. To check the fuses, I'll need a second digital multimeter. We'll turn it on, set it to the resistance function, the lowest range, 200 ohms. Let's make sure we have good meter leads quickly. Yeah, measuring pretty close to zero. So I'm going to measure the resistance of the fuses. I should measure about the same as when I connected the leads together, and I am. So the big fuse looks like it's good, and the little fuse, let's look at it. It's uh, measuring uh, a really low resistance also. So that's telling me these two fuses are good. If they were bad, it I would get the reading like as if I'm holding these two leads together because there would be an open circuit between the two terminals of the fuses. To visually look at the fuses, it's very difficult to see what's going on. And besides, this fuse has got a paper cover, so you can't, ins uh, you can't see inside the fuse. So that's how you would check your fuses on your digital multimeter. To reinsert the fuses, I just grab the fuses very carefully, line them up with the connectors, and push in until you hear a snap. There we go, that one's in. And line them up like that. And now we've replaced our fuses. Let's put back the rear panel. Using the slotted screwdriver, turn the screws back to the locked position. Feedback and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website at 1929FordHotRod.com